what is up guys it's your boy jude over here we are back with another small video um i'm actually gonna go pick up some food but i wanted to get out there and make a little video um because i got some big things coming well some uh some life changes so i'm actually gonna be moving here soon and uh i'll be leaving the beautiful downtown area of where i'm at currently yeah i got some big things coming i'm gonna be moving in with some family i finally have a garage and i no longer have to suffer with uh public parking garages excited to bring you guys some new content on the beautiful r1 yeah <laughs> That's really it. I'm excited to bring you guys content, man. Um, like this garage is like, cause it's, it's pretty big and I haven't had a garage in a long time and I've really missed having a garage because it's so hard to like wrench on your bike in like a literally a parking space. And that's my current setup. It's, it's really tough to have cars parked beside me, exposed to the elements. Um, my bike's always out in the garage. I mean, it's a closed garage, but still, you know, um, already had someone in my apartment complex key my bike so uh yeah that sucks but uh i'm excited about this garage and the things to come i can do a bit more videos you know about the bike i want to do like more maintenance type videos show you guys how to do an oil change and uh maybe perhaps like take the fairings off um if i get a different exhaust um you know, I'll put that on and uh, just the freedom I have and having more room and being in an enclosed space um, really is going to help me a lot. So, yeah, I got some things coming, boys, things coming. You guys are going to love the garage. Um, it's not the most prettiest garage, but it's like a, a renter's garage, like the guy who previous had previously had it. Um, I think he was a electrician or like a carpenter or something. So he has like a bunch of like cabinets set up and uh, he has a freaking AC unit in the garage. So that's, I'm loving that. So I'm excited to work on this beautiful bike and bring you guys some more content on the bike. So busy year for me uh, moving, but ultimately it's going to be a pretty good year for me. I already know. So yeah, who knows? Um, I got some things planned, uh, maybe like a build series or something. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on beautiful R1 and providing you guys some content on this bad girl. going to uh, get some Jolly Bees. So, oh, I cannot see in this road. This guy's blinding me. Uh, I'm going to get some Jolly Bees. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, essentially like Filipino KFC. So, Asian KFC. I got some pretty good, uh, some pretty good chicken. Yeah, they serve, uh, it's essentially like KFC, but uh, in my opinion, they're, they're better. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that was a big bump. They serve chicken, spaghetti, and some other stuff. Uh, definitely check it out. I mean, if you like KFC, chances are you'll like Jollibee's. Uh, so, but that's where I'm going. Uh, and yeah, it should be right around the corner here. Yeah, guys, I am so happy, so happy to move and uh, get to be around my family more, or more of my family. Uh, so, yeah, feels good, man, feels good. And uh, I get to grow another year with this beautiful bike I, that I have. 
uh, and yeah you know I'm just I'm ready for the next year man uh, I'm gonna continue working hard and uh, yeah um, I really would like to go on a trip of some sort maybe like a camping trip on this bike uh, Yeah, maybe like a camping trip, I don't know. Jolly B! We have arrived. There's their menu. They mainly have just chicken, but they have sandwiches, tenders, spaghetti too. Uh, it's, it's Hi, Jolly Hi, can I get the six piece bucket? Any of it spicy? Just the bucket. Just the original? Yeah. Okay. And would that be all for today? Yes. 1731 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. So nice here. The only thing quirky about this one is like, their drive through is like pretty tight. Hello. Here you go. Spicy, right? Uh, regular. Oh, and I'm going to be putting it in my backpack. So hopefully it's going to fit in there, but they're going to give me a bag and I'll put it in here. And, uh, yeah. I live pretty close to Jolly Bees. Um, so, yes, sir. Uh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. You too. Uh, so we're putting the chicken in the bag. I've actually, on the way to work yesterday, I spilled like two of my protein shakes in this bag, so I need to wash it. It smells pretty bad. I washed most, most of it out. But uh, it still kind of has that lingering, like, protein milky smell. I know that that probably sounds really gross. Which it is. But uh, goodbye, Jolly Bees.